I do enjoy the control part of publishing because no one's telling you, okay, the budget's finished now, that's it, we're done. We, we just let it go until we get the, the product or, or the artist wants. That's the liberating aspect of publishing. Hello, Felix. It is great to see you. We're excited to have Harlan and Weaver come to the Baltimore Fine Art Print Fair in four very short weeks. Can you tell our listeners and watchers a little bit about you and about the press? The press was begun by Carol Weaver and myself, and it began in 1985 when we moved into our space, where we still are on the Lower East Side. We're on um, Canal and Eldridge Street, the uh, great old neighborhood in Lower Manhattan. And um, so over the years, we've just accumulated more and more equipment, and we're kind of bursting out of here, but I like it so much I don't really want to move. We really deal exclusively with um, etching and intaglio techniques, like a focus is on Aquatint, but um, anything really, um, mostly barring photo techniques, which we, we don't do, and we send those out. But we, otherwise, we do every all of what is called the traditional types of etching and engraving and even men's occasion. So that is um, about the gist of the techniques we employ, but over the years we have begun to branch out into publishing. Although we are still a contract shop, we do both uh, publishing and contract work. They're interesting in their own different ways. And I have to say really the advent of the print fairs has helped smaller publishers like ourselves reach an audience, which is why it's so important to have something like the Baltimore Fair, which we looked forward to having it resumed, although not in its original location. But nevertheless, it's going to be great to be there. Yeah, I, I do always need to remind people that it, while it is a resurrection of sorts, it is also its own thing just because it's not associated with the museum any longer. So I'll just make that clear for folks. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about, so tell us a little bit about you and your training. Where did you train? I took etching and lithography in art school. I went to um, an art school in uh, Winchester, New Hampshire, which is uh, in Hampshire, England, south of London, and went there to do painting, but I, I enjoyed uh, being in the print shop so much, I just continued on with that. And uh, when I moved to New York, a friend was working at a shop called Stereo Studio. They were a shop from the... Uh, early from the 60s, and uh, heavy on litho, silk screen, and a little bit of etching. So I, I worked there for a while. And then in around 1980, I went to Aero Press where I met Carol. She was, she'd been working there longer than I had. And when Aero Press uh, moved from its then location on Lafayette Street, Carol and I just sort of went out on our own. And we printed for individual artists, we eventually borrowed a press and moved it into this building in 1985. It was owned by a uh, artist printmaker who wasn't doing much printmaking at the time, so she allowed us to borrow it for a while. And after that, uh, Carol and I worked for Gerald Parker Editions, and we really learned a lot from him. He had um, been at Crown Point, and he had developed methods of doing very large etching plates and printing them on this big brand press that he had made. So that was a that was a really a major influence for us. When Gerald Parker retired, we bought his press and some of his equipment from him and crammed it into this building somehow. And that, that's pretty much how it's been ever since. Um, we've had many assistants. It's been um, you know really fun getting to know people graduating from school who want to come to New York and have some experience in the print shop. So. Uh, I, your space is small. It is New York after all, but every time I'm there, there's the most beautiful afternoon sunlight that wafts in across the press wheel. <laughs> That's true. We have a kind of south and west facing rooms, series of rooms. As the original occupants of the building who were jewelers moved out, we um, took on a couple of extra rooms. Um, cool. I've been asking everybody... If artists are interested in working with you, collaborating with you on publications, are you open to people approaching you or do you do it by invitation? Well, both actually. Um, one of the nice things about doing contract work is you never know exactly who you're going to work with or what their preferences are. So that makes you have to be very adaptable. You can't just settle into one way of working that you prefer or one type of artists whose work you like most. That has always been really valuable for us to do that. 
but I do enjoy the control part of publishing because no one's telling you, okay, the budget's finished now, that's it, you're done. We, we just let it go until we get the, the product that we're looking for and the artist wants. That's the kind of liberating aspect of uh, publishing. Tell us what you're excited about bringing with you to Baltimore. Well, let's see. We had one work that we don't think is going to be finished, which is unfortunate, but... It happens. Jane. I'm going to ask Jane here. Felix is consulting with Jane Kim, his able-bodied and very smart assistant. Yes, with an excellent memory, uh, no doubt. You're bringing... Oh, Do you yeah, want to get on camera, Jane, for a sec? Uh, yeah, sure. let's trade. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I do you like that. Okay. Uh, we're bringing Louise, um, our star artist. <laughs> Kiki Smith. Kiki Smith. And yeah. uh, we're bringing Nicole Eisenman, who's going to have a show uh, very soon at the Hauser and Work. Some works that were beginning in 2012. And, uh, we're and the new print yeah. that we actually released in Miami of last year, December last year. And uh, we're bringing it to Baltimore as well. Is that the big beer garden one? Mm -hmm. No, mm. I don't think we can bring that one. It's, it's oh, it's a little too big. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any left. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh wow. Okay, good. Edition. but we're bringing the color one that we just started editioning. Yeah. And we also, hopefully, we'll bring another color one that we are also working on right now. Maybe it'll be finished. Yeah. Okay. No, we don't know. Um, but no, yeah. No one ever knows. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, Bonnie Lucas, uh, an artist okay. I've been working with for a while. Uh, Any yeah. new James and Katya? Yes, Katya. Katya. Yeah. We're bringing Katya. Um, we're bringing the one that we just published, uh, and she's currently working on the second print. Um, yeah, she's going to start I'm working. not sure unless we bring an old one. We have a work with James for a little while. They've been away, you know, in... Southern Looks like they've been hibernating up north in the country. They've yes. been up north the whole time. James, yeah. I think, is working on a new show, painting. Oh, so great. We won't have Wonderful. a new James CMS this year. Excellent. Mm, that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we're going to, you know, dig around, you know, and see what else we can find here on the show. I was talking to Sue Omi the other day, and she she's bringing some of her very treasured, but prop, maybe for sale, printer's proofs. Do you ever sell off your printer's proofs? Yeah, occasionally. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had a, a commission from a hotel, high end, they wanted to have prints, actual, you know, works of art on the wall. So we did sell some printer's proofs then. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But, All right. So maybe you could wrap up by telling everyone how much you love Baltimore and why, <laughs> why you're excited to come. <laughs> Well, because it, it's a great audience, the people are, you know, really interested in looking at work. And we have made sales at, you know, both ends of the price range. There are a lot of really nice students from MICA come by and um, on the whole, it's just a good crowd. It's a good audience. Yeah, I have, I have been telling all of the new vendors, new to the fair vendors, that they will be pleasantly surprised by the knowledge base that mm -hmm. is our audience. Yeah. Yeah. The people are curious. They ask good questions and uh, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's awesome. Well, All right. Well, I will <laughs> close with, we'll see you in Baltimore. Okay. And we will see you in Baltimore also. <laughs> Looking forward to it.